It's New Year's Eve, 1992, at the Royal Hotel, the Happening Gay Pub, downtown Vancouver. I love New Year's Eve, the build up the expectation, happens to be my birthday, always a party, never for me. Um, and I'm the lead singer of a bar band. And as the lead singer of a bar band on New Year's Eve, it's my job to carefully construct the evening so it will reach an epic climax. Nine o'clock, cocktail hour, a little sexy, you're just too good to be true, can't take my eyes off of you. 10 o'clock, we crank the engine a little bit, let's give them something to talk about, a little mystery to figure out, yeah. 11 o'clock, we bring out the big guns, big wheels keep on turning, proud Mary keep on burning. And then we drop the hammer, fame, I'm gonna live forever, light up the sky like a flame, fame. All of this building towards that pinnacle moment, 12 midnight, when the past is forgotten and the future is unleashed and we give ourselves permission to believe that anything is possible. I'm gonna quit smoking. I'm gonna quit cheese. <laughs> and I'm the one who's going to bring this giant orgasm of hope to the people. And I love it. So the room is, it, everything's going great. Cocktails are being sent up to the stage. There's a good vibe in the room. Party hats and noisemakers are on standby. Now, in the corner of the room, there's a giant clock. And Terry, the bar manager, he always keeps the clock a few minutes fast so he can clear out the room at the end of the night. And I know this about the clock, so that's why I'm going to use the giant television that hangs underneath the clock for the countdown. Tonight, Dick Clark is my man. Now, right now, old black and white movies are playing on the TV, perfect for this gay soiree. 11.40... The room is going crazy. People are having a great time. And I call out to one of the busy waiters. I say, hey, hey, Slush, can you get someone to change the channel on the television to the Dick Clark countdown? He looks at me like I'm speaking Japanese. <laughs> He's so busy. And then he runs away, and uh, I find another waiter. Tiny, tiny, can you get someone to change the channel on the television to the Dick Clark countdown? He smiles like I've just said, you have nice hair. Yeah, and he runs away. <laughs> And so I'm starting to panic because the final part of my plan for this evening is at the three minute mark, I'm gonna get the band to start playing the song Get Ready by The Temptations. We'll just play the chorus over and over. Get ready, get ready, here I come until the countdown. It's the right song, it's a good plan, and it's gonna work. So I turn to the band and I say, start the song, I'm going in. And I leap off the stage into this crowded, packed room with, you know, sweaty shoulders and elbows. And I fight my way through the crowd. And I'm stepping on a feather boa and a pink pump and fighting, get con you know, tangled up in a conga line. And, and uh, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Uh, no, we don't know any Donna Summer. Excuse me, I've got to get to the bar. And <laughs> she sings too high. And I get to the bar. And uh, it's in chaos. And the bartenders and the bar manager, everyone going crazy. And it's, it's like that moment in um, Terms of Endearment, Shirley MacLaine, where she like, goes across the, the medical desk. I go, I go across the bar and I go, change the channel on the television, change the channel on the television, change the channel on the television. And then I, I body surf my way back up to the stage, crawl onto the stage, up to the microphone, look at the clock, 11.59, but I know that's bull because the clock is wrong. And I look at the television and Carol Lombard butts out a cigarette. I look to my band, who shoot me back looks of horror because I'm their leader and this redhead is failing. And then I look back to the TV again, and this time I see color. I see fireworks. I see Dick Clark laughing. I see the time, 12.03. <laughs> I scream! 10, 9, 8! People stop. 7, 6, 5! I'm scaring them with my anger. 4, 3, 2, 1! Happy New Year! Happy New Year! And I could be yelling, you know, like, get the hell out of my lane! Happy New Year! It's great, it's great. Streamers fall and like balloons and everything are released and people are hugging and kissing and eyelashes are coming unglued and it's all happening. It's all, we did it, we did it, we did it! <laughs> and then I look across this room of, of people, these faces, mostly men, these smiling faces and and I can actually see them now, you know, men that are holding on to each other and hugging and kissing and, and loving each other and beautiful, beautiful men that have 
you know, with probably sad stories and checkered past to have triumphed just to get here to this smelly beer parlor where they can take hands and hearts and say, I love you, right out loud. So at this stroke of midnight, or 12.05, <laughs> it all works. It works. It's real. Hope is real. Happy New Year.